Hey, hey, Dominic, the CX guy here. Welcome back to the channel. Quick intro about me, Zendesk consultant, eight years of experience, two years Zendesk partner, and I've just recently finished a subcontracting agreement with Zendesk where I helped them with the recent surge in projects. And I'm here to share some of that knowledge with you. Today, we're going to be discussing uh, Slack integration. So uh, many of you use Slack for your uh, internal communications. Uh, I do, and many of the companies that I do, uh, that I interact with also do. And um, uh, maybe it has happened that uh, sometimes you want, for example, Zendesk, uh, whenever some conditions are met, like whenever some uh, events happen in Zendesk, like a ticket is created, or a ticket is updated, or a ticket priority gets changed, or I don't know, it's a VIP client reaching out. You'd want to, besides re receiving an email in your inbox, uh, potentially receiving an update in your uh, in your Slack channel, so you'd be able to see that request uh, end up safely. So today I'm going to walk you through how to set up Slack with a step-by-step -step guide, and yeah, let's uh, jump right into it. I'm going to share my screen as per usual. Okay. So first thing you want to do is definitely want you want to install the Slack app. So you go to admin, you go to manage, and in manage my apps, I want to go to marketplace. I want to look for Slack. Here we go. I want to install it. It asks me where I want to install it. This is my test account. Takes a moment. Okay, so now it asks me like, where do you want to install this? Slack has been called, and I this is these are my available uh, work um, workspaces, right? And this is the one that I'm interested in. I want to allow rights for Slack to to be able to uh, have access. Uh, this is my domain, sandesk.com. I do agree, of course I do. <laughs> Next, allow permissions, of course. Okay, so now I open Slack. Here we go, here we go. So this is my Slack app, it has been installed in apps. And uh, first thing that I want to do is I want to go in and add it into a Slack channel. So I have created this test Slack channel. And what I want to do is I want to do forward slash invite and then at Zendesk. So what this does is it takes uh, my installed apps inside my Slack interface and installs them in this channel. Right, so I have uh, right now installed my um, my app in here. So right now what, what I want to do is I want to go inside Zendesk because I want to show you what installing the Slack app actually means. So installing the Slack app it means two things. So one is creating a target notification and then it creates a trigger. So let's go see both. So extensions, so admin settings extensions. And then you see this one has been created by default by Slack. I didn't have to do anything. It has zero successful sends because it hasn't been used yet. And it also creates a trigger for me, which I think it's uh, by default installed in here. Here we go. Slack trigger. And if I go through the settings for it, so what I want, what happens in here is meet all of these conditions, not all of these conditions, but any of these conditions. So if a ticket is being created or a ticket is being updated, any type of uh, either of these actions is going to trigger a message to end up in my Slack. So what we saw earlier in extensions, like the notifying target, I see it here, right? So this is an action which allows me to notify target, which is my Slack integration endpoint, right? So these are, this is, these are the information that are being passed over to Slack. So uh, ticket ID, ticket status, when it was updated, the timestamp, uh, my subdomain, if I use multiple brands, ticket comments and the latest uh, updates and then who it was updated by. Okay, so now let's go back to our Slack channel and we want to right now set up this um, app in this Slack channel to do some actions for us. And I want to do this. I want to say Zendesk, 
settings. Here we go, and then it slows up and it asks me like, what subdomain, subdomain do I want to be connected to? It's this one, this is my test account, so it's fine, I'm happy with it. But then it asks me like, what kind of ticket notifications do you want to happen inside Slack? So I need to add a channel, right? So in my case, I want to add it in this test Slack. Uh, I have multiple, but um, I have only added it to this Slack channel, right? So I click next. Okay, so now it asks me like, okay, what type of notic notifications would you like to receive in the Slack channel? So now I can see that I'm receiving, for example, by default. So um, if you set it up, you'll see that uh, you, by default, you get selected with updates to a new ticket or open tickets, but I want to activate all of them. So all of my available notifications because I want to be very prolific and receive updates in my Slack. So let's see, I want to see ticket is created. You see it moves up here at the selected notifications, updated on pending tickets, updated on, on hold tickets, and updated on salt tickets. Now I want to click next. Okay, and then it asks me like, what groups do you want to allow for this uh, notification, to send notifications to this channel? And I want to do all. And then I click done. And I can do the same setup, for example, for answer bots, but we're not going to go into that into that right now. And you can also give feedback if you're not happy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into Zendesk and we will create a test ticket to see if it ends up in Slack and if our setup worked. So let's use one of our test accounts. Okay. Assign in, let's assign it to my colleague Paul, test to see if ticket ends up in Slack as a notification. All right, then I give it a description, which is going to be the same, and I like to put in a lot of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can definitely add to my uh, message to end up in Slack any of my custom fields if I so want to. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can, uh, very useful would be, for example, what type of request it is, and it, uh, so you can see it inside, inside Slack as well. So let me create this ticket and see if it ends up in Zenesk. Okay, so now I've created my test ticket, which is great. Now let's look at our Slack channel and here we go. An open ticket has been created by, this is me. <laughs> and yeah, I have my ticket ID number. I have, yeah, my, uh, my title, my subject line. Who's the requester? It's the same guy, <laughs> big surprise. And who is the assignee? It's my colleague, Paul. Yeah, and this is the description. So what it is, uh, what it is important to notice or to know actually is that you don't necessarily have to be sending in any type of tickets inside Zenith. So anytime a ticket is updated, obviously you have to realize that you'd get uh, inundated with, uh, let me shut down my uh, screen, uh, uh, my screen recording. Um, so any type of uh, notification like for updates would end up in your Slack. So imagine somebody update, updates the ticket status or changes the ticket priority or changes the ticket to the properties. That's an update always. So that means that each time you get um, notifications sent inside Slack, which can be overbearing and uh, you don't want to do that because um, as per, you know, as per the human psyche, uh, if somebody, if there's too much of something, then you just tend to ignore it to shut it off just so it doesn't uh, clutter your mind. So it is important to think about, uh, to be productive, um, to select some types of tickets that you actually do want to send up in your Slack channel. Meaning new tickets created via, for example, via email, or via, for example, complaints email, right? So those seem to be important because if somebody sends you a complaint, they, I don't know, they're not happy. So, <laughs> so you might want to see that first, like how, you want to jump on top of it. Or for example, a ticket priority changes to urgent and you want that to end up in Slack as well. So you have visibility if you're a team leader and you're always logged in in Slack, you have notifications turned on in your, on your phone, um, you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to, tra to track it. Now, again, too much of something makes your mind shut it off and you don't, you're not going to pay attention. So 
please be mindful of the types of inquiries that you want to end up in your Slack channel. So you make sure to, uh, to catch them. I hope this helped. So um, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. And if you want to see some special content, please go ahead and comment what you'd like to see. Uh, give me a like if you if you want to, uh, and maybe subscribe to the channel because if you've seen like my subscription rate is very very low, and I could really use it, and I really appreciate it. Thanks. See you tomorrow.